Hey, what's going on guys? Liger back here with the second episode of my 200 keys unusual trading series. Holy hell, the name is so long dude. Anyway, here is a little recap of the last episode. Previously in trading unusuals with 200 keys. Liger spent 103 keys already. Already spent like 103 keys in 3 days. He missed his keys so he started crying a camera caught him here is the footage. Anyway don't tell him about this or he will fire me. At least he spent his keys for some promising unusuals that he listed on marketplace. I'm reselling the stuff I got in marketplace but yeah. Also he told me to tell you that you gotta like and subscribe or I'm fired. Starting this stream with a donation that I got today from Rab. His name is Boglim in YouTube. He's been in my streams. Very, very, very generous from you, Boglim. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's sick, actually. All right, and in this trade, buying this Miami Nights effect. I always like Miami Nights because they super easy to sell in marketplace all the time. Never had a problem with them. So I'm paying 11 keys by orders at 10.5. And there is already one seller at marketplace which I'm gonna match. I have keys more than buyers. It can never go wrong, you know. Worst case, I lose half key. That if the buy offers didn't climb up. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna match this guy at 31.99. Unusual already sold at 31.99, which gives me back 14.4 keys. So that's almost three keys and a half in profit. So this one, my plan was to match this guy. 31.99 31.99 I got back this divided by the price of keys so three keys and a half profit on this one not bad and um, so in this trade I'm paying this serum plasma unusual for 12 keys there are buy orders at 10 keys and no sell orders which is very helpful for me also it's been actually sold six times this year which is a very helpful thing. It's been sold for 34.99. And that comes back to almost 16 keys. So I'm getting like three keys and a half, more than that actually, in profit. And yeah, that's, that's kind of the reason I went two keys over the buy orders. Yeah, because it's been sold a lot this year. Unusual. That's how it looks on Sniper. Yeah, Serum Plasma is always decent. You can never go wrong. So, 34.99, I got back this, divided by 1.99, about 3.8 keys profit, not bad at all. So to list your items that you have in Marketplace, in Backpack, all you have to do is click the list, and make sure Marketplace is selected instead of Steam. Click your unusual list. You can configure this message from your settings, so it always appears in here, you don't have to type it again every time. Now, if we go here, I'm the only seller in here. So, the way you set that message is from the settings, classifieds, autofill. You type this for sell orders, this for buy orders. It always shows that message whenever you advertise. Very helpful. This is all the listings I have right now. I'm giving away a random item from this page. So if you win, a random number generator is gonna decide which one of these items you get. Good luck everyone. In three, in two, in one. Okay, one sec, let me let me just uh, go take a nap and come back. Nah, no, just kidding. And Nihilist type GG in the very last time. <laughs> and he won! He wasn't even in! He was not even in! Bro! <laughs> he literally typed it the same time I clicked. Okay, so nihilist, what we are doing is we're gonna make a random number generator between these items. Whatever it lands on, you get to keep. The spray doesn't land on one of these scraps. Okay, good luck, dude. It lands on six. It's a refined. I should have mixed them. Should I should I should I give him the one refined or just mix the items and roll again? I feel like it's unfair. Should have mixed them. Chance is the same for everything though. I mean, yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. I just felt bad for him winning RF. Kinda too. And Nihilist gets 
Number 20. Which is a scrap. <laughs> and yeah, refined. Better than a scrap. If you guys want to join the giveaways as well, make sure to catch my live streams. Yeah. He literally gave me those for giveaways. A huge shout out to you, my boy. Boglim on YouTube or Rab in Steam. Very, very generous. Thank you for the support, dude. And in this trade, I'm buying this team in Sniper Unusual for 8 keys. The buyers currently at 7 and 59 and sellers are around 11 keys. A little bit under 0.5 keys above buy orders, which is hella good. If we come into Marketplace, there is only one seller at 27.99, which gives me back 12.7 keys. That's like 5 keys in profit, which is really good. Generous from you, okay. Thank you. And let's go straight to the giveaways. Thank you so much, dude. Um, in this trade, I'm buying this soldier unusual. It's dead president as well for 8 keys. Boss are buying at 7.23 keys. Um, this unusual for 8 keys, being a soldier unusual with dead president, is a really good investment to be honest because I do believe it can sell for way more than that. Uh, thinking that anyone who wants a cheap soldier in this world is going to look for this one. And it's been last sold on 21. Prices were pretty outdated. I believe I can sell it for 29.99 easily, especially because there is no sellers. Which gives me back 13.63 keys. Around 5 keys in profit. Not bad at all. So yeah, we spent 8 keys. We're getting 13.63 keys. Cheese. 5.6 keys in profit. There we go. Would you buy my mom for only 8 keys? Of course. What the fuck, amigo? Selling my mom for 1 key above buy orders. Trade me now, dude. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm, I'm just gonna withdraw it from Marketplace because I literally got the offer from a guy who was browsing backpack and saw my advertisement. So instead of waiting for this to sell for 121, dollars which comes back to 55 keys this is 16 keys profit but i gotta wait a lot so instead of doing this i'm just cashing in one key right now and using those keys that i'm getting just to look for another initials because why not why just keep that in there i'm gonna just get other initials and release them there anyway while guaranteeing one key profit i bought it for 39 keys and i'm reselling it to this guy for 40 but yeah I'm just cashing in one key profit right now, using the same amount of keys to get more unusuals. Yeah, profit is profit. Whenever you guys find profit, take it. Because consistent profit is better than waiting to make profit. Especially if you're getting keys. You can use those same keys just to buy another unusuals with maybe more potential to profit on. Um, yeah, uh, as I was saying, that's another benefit of like listing the items you're selling in the marketplace in here. You just go to click list, choose marketplace, List all the items. I forgot to list this because I literally bought them yesterday. So I'm going to list those. This is an automatic message you can set. I have it like that. Also set in for keys. Near buyers with keys. So whoever reads this is going to contact me because he's going to be tempted since I'm selling near buyers. To at least ask for the price if he's not buying directly from marketplace. You know? And just I place them. And now they are advertised on backpack as well. So if we go here, I have all the unusuals in here as well, which is very helpful. This thing just got me this guy to pay 40 keys. You see, it's very helpful. This guy wouldn't have known otherwise because it would have been only advertised in marketplace. Yeah, so I'm reselling for 40 keys, one key profit. Just use those keys to buy more stuff. And there we go, our 40 keys bag, dude. It's pure dopamine clicking through keys like this. It's pure dopamine, dude. And here we go, dude. Looks full again. 98 keys. And this unusual. 28 is still good, dude. No, no, no. Here, here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell him I'm going to get this one for 28. If he gives this one for like 10 keys. Two birds, one stone. Boom. Yeah. What if... I do 28 if you give me the first 24 thank you so I take both add to 
it was the 38. This almost always works, dude. All right, uh, in this trade, I'm buying these two unusuals for uh, 38 keys. This one, having buy orders at 26 keys and sellers at 36. Though, it's listed the marketplace at 99.99. I trust this guy because he's literally a price mod. A uh, very good guy. I'm gonna link his Discord in the description. They literally help people getting into trades and helping them price their items and value their trades. Yeah, so make sure to check the description for the for his Discord. So I'm basically getting this one for 28 keys, which is like two keys above my orders. For some beams, it seems like it's a really good deal. Even though it's a robot hat, I think the effect overrides that. The effect is just too good. So yeah, I'm gonna match this guy at 99.99, .99, which gives me back a solid 45 keys. So that's a solid 17 keys profit. And the other unusual, having buy offers at 9.70 keys, I got this one for 10 keys, which is a really good deal because it's been sold recently for 29.99, .99, which gives me 13 keys and a half. So that's three keys and a half profit. For 10 keys spent, which is always very good. Here we got our unusuals. It is how the unusual looks on an NG. Bro, like, look at this. Some beams is always nice to get. And it is how the spy unusual looks. It's actually a misc. A misc means that I can, like, pair it with other unusuals and other effects, which makes it easier to sell as well on Marketplace. Here is the inventory now, 60 keys and a half actually, because of this tour of duty tickets. And these two unusuals, which I'm gonna resell on marketplace.tf right now. So, just listed the unusuals for the prices I was looking to list them for. This one, matching the last time it's been sold for. And this one, matching the seller at 99.99. .99. Here is how my marketplace looks in general. I bought all of these unusuals. No shit, Sherlock. Here is how my backpack looks like right now. 60 keys left off of 200 keys, dude. With this tour of duty ticket. Alright, and that was it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.